He was the most wanted man in the Turks and Caicos Islands in February of 2008. But today, Robert, a.k.a. Black Jackson, began serving his prison term for an aggravated burglary and rape, which happened nearly two years ago. Jackson was sentenced to 10 years on each case on each count to run concurrently, which means that Robert Black will only serve 10 years for the two separate charges. Jackson was found guilty of the rape of a pregnant woman and aggravated burglary. In February of 2008, the infamous Black led police on a nationwide manhunt which spanned for two weeks. Jackson surrendered in mid-February and after two years of a turbulent trial, Black, who was represented by Kwame Smith, was found guilty by a jury panel of 12 today in the Grand Turk Supreme Court. In other police and crime news, police are looking for the whereabouts of a teenage boy who allegedly stabbed another in the dark yard, Q-Town area. The incident happened earlier this week and News 4 understands that the scuffle between the two teenage males was over a $10 debt. Two, two little young boy, teenagers, right? But one or the other one, $10. So you don't want to pay him. You say, pay me my money, but pay my money. You don't want to pay him, so you stab him. You run, you run in the bush. You go, that was a big step, that was a little knife. If that was a big, dead. You go stab him in the, in the chest, bad place. This eyewitness who refused to go on camera said that while the young man seemed to have sustained minor injuries, police were allegedly neglectful in responding on time to the criminal matter. The young eyewitness tells our cameras that when the stabbing occurred, police were called, but they didn't show up until it was over. Police, police came. But police can't find nobody. But police ain't come when the, when the thing gone. When they call police, police never come. So when the thing finish, police come. News 4 contacted press liaison officer Sergeant Calvin Chase, who said he was in a meeting at the time and would get back to us. Up to press time, there has been no word from law enforcement officials on the investigations surrounding this $10 stabbing.